Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here. Welcome to another episode and thank you very much to my new subscribers. And please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Also, if you stay to the end, there's job tips at the end, but not today because today is different. Today is a true AI breakthrough. So what is this breakthrough? It's called Transformer. And what Transformer is, is a way to improve and speed up machine learning. So we've talked before about how AI works. So AI is software, it runs on computers, and AI needs lots and lots and lots of examples, whether it's regular machine learning or a neural net to learn how to look for what it's being asked to look for. And again, we're talking about narrow AI, which is designed to accomplish a specific task because general AI is a long way off still. That's artificial general intelligence and we're still nowhere near that. But for very specific tasks, this new tool, Transformer, is a true breakthrough. So what is it and what does it do? Well, Transformer allows a machine learning algorithm to learn from hundreds of thousands of computers running in parallel. So think about that. Think about the world's biggest data center, Google's network, for example, running hundreds of thousands of servers in parallel feeding examples to a machine learning algorithm. That is what Transformer is. And it's been used specifically in two recently released breakthroughs. The first we've talked about for, before, and it's OpenAI's GPT-3, which is a a translator, right? So what GPT-3 does is it's voice recognition that will take what you say and do what you ask it to do. So it's like Super Siri. The accuracy of GPT-3 is the highest that there is today. And GPT-3 was programmed and trained on speech examples with this new tool, Transformer. That's why its accuracy is so incredibly high compared to previously existing voice recognition technology. So that was a huge breakthrough. It happened a couple months ago. We talked about that previously, but there's another one that's even newer and the implications are truly profound. So uh, there is a company called DeepMind, and some years ago, DeepMind developed AlphaGo, which beat the world's greatest Go player. And this was following up on IBM's work with Deep Blue that beat the world chess champion. Well, Google bought DeepMind and DeepMind has most recently used Transformer and Google's infrastructure to create something called AlphaFold 2. So what is AlphaFold 2? AlphaFold 2 is a program that predicts the shape of proteins. So that sounds really complicated, and, and it is, but to put it most simply, many of the activities in the human body are driven by proteins. A lot of the time, proteins fold in a way that is healthy and helpful for the human body and gives your body instructions to follow that allow your body systems to run normally the way they should. An example of a protein fold gone bad is cancer. So, um, so misfolded pro 
proteins can cause big problems in the human body. And there's a wide range of human ailments, not just cancer, but a bunch of stuff that they now believe, work is still ongoing, obviously, but they now believe that a lot of these ailments are caused by bad protein folding. Cancer, I mentioned, another one is MS. Um, perhaps, I'm not sure, but perhaps this is also dementia and Alzheimer's. These are pervasive problems in the population with serious consequences. And the effects of these diseases is monster medical costs. So here's what AlphaFold 2 did. It solved, it accurately predicted protein folding, which is millions and millions and millions of potential outcomes. And its accuracy rate was about 95%. This will allow researchers in the medical space to predict how proteins fold in your body and how they might misfold and cause or contribute to some of these very serious diseases. So this is a true breakthrough. It's brand new, but it means that it opens a whole new avenue of treatment that was never available before. Now, why is this so significant? Well, solving protein folding to this level of accuracy with traditional computers was predicted to take millions of years. Let's say that again, millions of years. And AlphaFold2 did it in, uh, I forget what the time was, but it wasn't that long. This is an extraordinary advance in AI and the power of it. Extraordinary. And it doesn't even include what is possible later when quantum computing advances. So uh, this is one of those things that will be looked back on in 20 years as a miraculous turn of events in medicine. It truly will be. And these things only happen every so often, but one just happened and it happened strictly because of AI and the new transformer tool that allows massively parallel processing of examples to give to a machine learning algorithm. Big, big, big stuff. So we're gonna keep an eye on this one over this year, 2021, because the progress is likely to be quick with this new tool in a variety of areas. So we'll see what happens, but this is huge, huge breaking news, and I wanted to share it with you. Now, when we think about jobs, um, related to technologies like this. In addition to AI programming, there's of course uh, being a, a computer hardware technician, system admin. Uh, there's many different levels of responsibility with managing these huge data centers. Some are entry level, some take years of experience, right? But in addition to that, all of this research that's being done for medical research is being done in laboratories. Well, the people doing these, this research typically have PhDs, but there's a lot of opportunity to work in lab settings, maintaining equipment uh, and uh, managing inventory and doing really practical things like that that need to be done that don't require a PhD or necessarily even a college education. So there is food for thought for everyone on the job front. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.